and 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 I'll tell you listen it, it's a uh, it's uh, do, do I really need to do the welcome to the show group yeah let's do that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show group i no but seriously i've been i've been trying to get you since i've started this podcast i anvi was my first yeah. guest right so since then i've been trying to get you up finally ja ke ruka hua hai so yeah it's good to have you good to have you finally we are doing this but yeah coming back to the slap thing so i was telling people ki uh, yaar main martial artist hu to maine kaha tera coach se thappad maarta hai thappad kaise maar dega mujhe so you see see thappad ki baat aate hi they go all like ki yaar thappad kaise maar dega should i tell you a disturbing sick but a really cool part about this so so if for example uh, this guy is a student dhruv ki class mein and i am a student and we are like actually like uh, sparring with each other not hitting each other like with proper force and we are just practicing right so the bond won't be that strong this is very fucked up <laughs> but since humne ek dusre ko roz thappad mare na chante like proper uh, intent ke sath ki tune mara main bhi marunga zor se waisa karke dude there was this guy mihir remember that skinny guy another student right so this guy we did not know each other कहीं पे भी और जब हम एक दूसरे को थप्पड़ मार के खत्म होते ना क्लास हम बाहर स्टारबक्स में मिले एक दो बार यू मेट लाइक ओल्ड बडीज वे व्हाट्सएप व्हाट्सएप सो आई सी स्लैप बडी सो इट्स आई थिंक स्लैप यू विल बिकम अ यू विल मेकिंग फ्रेंड्स सो नॉट जस्ट स्लैपिंग बट इट्स लाइक एक्चुअली यू गेट ओवर सो मेनी थिंग्स या यू एक्चुअली गेटिंग इनटू अ फाइट विद अ माइंड दैट यू यू डोंट हेट द अदर गाय सो आई थिंक इट समहाउ स्ट्रेंथेंस द बॉन्ड समहाउ आई फील लाइक व्हाट डू यू थिंक हैव यू एवर लाइक फेल्ट लाइक दिस विद समवन See, when I I got slapped a lot, like when I was training. Right. And the you tell day, me about it. Like what happened? So our our training was very different. Who we was were, your coach? This was in Bombay. Okay. So his name is Doctor Rao. He is trained under Richard Bustel. Okay. That's Bruce Lee's direct student. No way. Yeah. So I I did a formal uh, training with him. Right. And, Jee Kundo. Yeah. Right. Jee Kundo. So uh, over there he was like. Slapping was a very common thing. That's how we would start our day. Start yeah. and end as well. Yeah. And every I used to go to Bombay on right. the weekend and right. train there the whole day. Right. So slapping was a normal thing. Like, uh-huh. Just start first. Initially, I was like, you know, what the hell is happening? Like, yeah. Hard. And they slap hard because I know. <laughs> yeah. Like you. I'm not training with a new guy. Mm. So the, the first time someone comes in, he trains with uh, a senior. Old, senior. Yeah, a senior. Right. So he's obviously used to it. So mm. he knows how to give the slap. Yeah. Time. So like how you started off with slapping, but you all eased into it. Right, right. Yeah. So I was not given that. I was hesitant to slap the guy. Huh. Huh. I, was I was not given the opportunity to do that. Right. Like ease into it. Okay. Right? So it was just like there. Shit. So and how many was, people were watching? See, everyone's doing their own thing. And you're getting slapped. Yeah. In the but, but our thing was very different. There, we were not allowed to talk to each other or. Uh, okay. It was a like a more like a military setup. Right. Okay. More of discipline. Right, 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 right. So what you said, like you created that bond, uh, never happened. Oh, okay. Because it was only for that purpose. Yeah. Right. And that's it. Oh. So I mean, there were times where, uh, like Mukda Gorse used to train there. Mukda Gorse, the actor, yeah, the model. Yeah. yeah. Mukda Gorse, yeah. yeah. actor. Yeah. 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 So she, I think she was new. Right. And, uh, in the she was she in the industry at that time or was she? I think she is. She what was, was she doing, doing in stuff? your? She just wanted to train. Okay. So he was uh, teaching my coach. Was teaching her like huh. how do you slap someone? Okay. And were you the? Yeah. So he called me. <laughs> like, I, I just finished my slap. <laughs> my cheeks are red. <laughs> so he calls me. Uh-huh. I like slap him. Okay. So I actually got slapped by Mukda. Uh, nice. That's, 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 that's a resume. Man. That, that's a resume. Man. Yeah. That's so cool. and okay, her slaps were not. That hard, of course. So I was like, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> right. But uh, he's like, no, that's not how you slap. Move. Right. And he called one of the instructors, a uh-huh. female instructor. She told he told her slap. Him. Okay. And the slap I got. Oh man. Was... So tell me something. You got slapped by a woman, and for but a martial artist, it wasn't just one. So I'm she sure. She slapped. Then like you slap. Now you slap. Okay. So I was the guy who was getting slapped. You were punching. <laughs> So now I'm sure you are in that zone. Ki if you're training and slap is a very normal thing for you, yeah. like it's part of yeah. your training, right? So you got slapped by women, mm-hmm. <laughs> women. So first time, right? Now even I think that if I'm training with a girl or yeah. a woman, right? I'm in that zone that okay, it doesn't matter if she's punching me, kicking me, slapping me, whatever. If I'm training, I'm training. So 
फर्स्ट टाइम पे तुम्हारा ये ऐसा था या वर यू लाइक ईगो पे कि यार हाउ द फक डिड नहीं आई डिडंट हैव दैट ईगो नो नथिंग ओके इन जनरल आई एम नॉट लाइक दैट आई कैन सी दैट इन योर यू नो बिहेवियर आई एम वेरी यू नो बट इन माय क्लासेस आई डू मेक द क्लास ऑफ टेक आउट राइट राइट द विमेन स्लैप गाइस गाइस स्लैप श्योर सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर देम टू लाइक गेटिंग स्लैप बाय अ गाय एंड गेटिंग स्लैप बाय इज अ लिटिल डिफरेंट Yes, because guys are stronger. For both, for gender. both, stronger and for guys, maybe they if need to. Girl, learn. Yeah, knows how to slap it, of course. That's different thing. <laughs> yeah. But guys are stronger, so it just hurts hard. It's harder. Yes. So for a woman to learn that is really important to do. So learning a self defense. Right. You know? so, so tell me something. I have this question, and this always is in my mind, and I'm sure हर एक लड़के के दिमाग में होता होगा. So I'm, it's not a question. It's more of a situation. I'll give huh. you a situation. So let's say you are out partying. Hmm. You know where I'm going. Maybe you've guessed it. And you're out with your girlfriend, right? Yeah. You're out with your girlfriend. A very common scenario. Hmm. Let's say you're in Goa streets, where everyone's drunk. Maybe they are not drunk. Maybe they're just, they're just assholes who like to, you know, yeah. who think that uh, they have the fucking right to comment or whatever, or maybe even touch the girl inappropriately. So if you are walking with your girlfriend, now I really want a martial artist's perspective, is it? So. any guy who has a tendency to lose his shit immediately mm-hmm. will get into a fight or whatever so if you are going and someone misbehaves with your girlfriend what's the first thing your reaction you might how does your mind work like okay now when do you know okay the fight is on do you initiate or do you so of course if someone misbehaves with your girl that fucking guy needs to you know pay for it so do you let others attack so misbehaving what like so it can be anything it can be anything so obviously i don't want you to take it personally but misbehaving can be a comment a rude comment something very sleazy or maybe he just touches the girl you know groups or whatever or just feels like he has the right to do whatever with the girl just by and laughs with his gang or whatever typical movie scenario yeah. but it happens yeah. there are assholes it happens yeah so it looks like you've experienced something <laughs> like that <laughs> no i haven't but i mean like commenting is a different thing right i tend to ignore it yeah if someone's commenting mm-hmm. i mean I, it's not worth it getting into the hassle especially if you're out of town you right you know It's not worth spoiling your holiday, right? For something that and are you under this pressure that what will my girl think? Like you know, so no, it depends. Like we have, if we have a mutual understanding, right? She would know, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, you know, most of the women I've heard this statement. They say that it's very sexy when a guy can fight and defend her woman. You know, what is sexier when a woman can defend herself, herself, like absolutely, like without the help of the guy. So, absolutely, yeah, and. So maybe even she is in that zone that okay you know my guy doesn't exactly. need to move. so that's what I say someone's commenting right so you just ignore him your girlfriend will only <laughs> give yeah. it off yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah yeah i would want my girlfriend to slap yeah. like so that you can initiate yeah. right then you have an upper hand right <laughs> yeah but uh, if the guy actually does something like you know whatever movies me dikhate hain he spanks the girl or whatever touches so then that yeah exactly turns into a different thing right so at that point of time how does a martial artist's brain so, work so firstly like me for yeah. me i would first talk to the guy and tell him mm. you know you've done this right. you apologize for it right right now mostly they don't apologize that's why so, he yeah and then things get bad <laughs> yeah so at that time when you're saying that apologize huh. to her are you like creating distance or whatever do these calculations come yeah, in your so mind the, the most important thing is to avoid it as much as possible right because once i don't know at least for me if we get into that zone of fighting fighting we go all out at least i go all out yeah you know i there's no in between been in a fight yeah i have But tell me about that after this yeah, yeah. but uh it's that's what i've been taught right like, that's what rules also says if you if you you're going to fight uh-huh. you give it your all right or do not fight or do not fight you know so we try i try to avoid it mm. as much as possible But then, if it reaches a certain stage, then क्या करना है? Yeah, you can't do anything. <laughs> right. I mean, so at that time, do you wait for the person to strike first? That's what I really want to know. Or do you take a no. call? No. Then you. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about <laughs> your <laughs> let's talk about your fight then. What happened? You can uh, not share names. It's okay. But yeah, so this was like a while back. I was in Bangalore studying. Okay. What were you studying? Like, I was doing hotel management. Hotel management. Yeah. Okay. So this guy basically, I was at a friend's house, hmm. just chilling at night. Drunk. uh people are drinking but not not drunk okay oh this right yeah this guy is just cocky comes out from a party and you know he just starts telling the women just bins behaving 
Oh, it wasn't personal like he, yeah, nah, he didn't yeah, do anything no, to you. Nothing, nothing. Oh, okay. So, you know, we were just telling him, you go home and you come back tomorrow and huh. chill out a little. Right. You know? And even the host, my friend, was telling him, that, you know, yeah, chill out. Yeah. Like, I don't want him here, please. Right. So, we were just telling him, like, you know, please, let's mm. go over this time. And so, what happened? He pushed me. Okay. <laughs> so he pushed me hard. Huh. And I basically tripped on the sofa, the small sofa. Right. I tripped and fell down. Right. I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> I got up and I started striking. Okay. So, at that point, he got into like a proper guard. guard. Okay. He really didn't know. It's very natural for a... For, for a guy to... Uh, to yeah. Do that, yeah. So, luckily, he got a little safe. But he had a black eye. He right. his watch. And okay. So, someone had to hold me. Right. Otherwise, I will not stop. Right. Till the guy is down. Yeah. Like, knocked out. Yeah. Okay. So, that's the thing. That's why I avoid it. Avoid it as much as you can. Okay. It's not worth it. Hmm. And uh, you, it, like if you if you keep training, I mean you're training to hijack someone or you're training to hit him in his throat. You might end up doing that. Yeah, thing. or hit him in his groin. I mean, yeah. you don't want to risk. Like there'll be a case on you, and the, right, right. It just goes on forever. Yeah, 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 and it's not worth that. Okay. Yeah, you can't do that. So that's where my next thing comes is you know the difference between a sport and learning how to fight, mm. right? So there there's a lot of sham going out. Go to bar. I remember. I I don't want to you know diss anyone, but I remember when you started your training at the gym, right? Nitro when we were training under you. Immediately, two three more people came. They were there for their training. So I don't know whether these guys were good or not. He didn't look that good, but but, but whatever. But the thing is that they teach a lot of uh, stupid stuff. Traditional. Traditional, stuff, yeah. and a lot of people tend to. Fool themselves or they are ignorant or I don't know, they go there or maybe they just go there ki fitness hai, to mujhe cardio karna hai, to uske liye karna hai. So since you have started your own classes, I want to know your take about it. Like self-defense, how should it be distinguished, you know, from sport? Yeah. From like, okay, I need to learn kickboxing, punching back, pe ko bas wo karna hai. maybe you're going to fight professionally. Yeah. But you are teaching raw, real street fight stuff, like just learning how yeah. to fight. So I want some more insight on that. Like, so the difference is basically... The way you train. I mean, now if you're training for the ring, right. like MMA is the closest you can get to a street fight. A real fight, yeah. It's the yeah. closest thing you can get. But at the same time, it's not a street fight. It's not a street fight, yeah. There are, really there are rules. There are rules. Yeah. You can't kick someone in the groin. Hmm. Right? I mean, if someone's down, you can't probably kick them in the face. Yeah. You can't bite them. Or, yeah, you can't. Right? If someone's on top of you, you can't hit him in his groin. Yeah, you can't. If someone's caught on the pin, yeah, yeah. you can't. Right. So... Now, when those guys are training for that, right? Now, suppose you're training for the armbar. You know what's an armbar? Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Now, your goal is okay. I'm going to get him down. You're a jiu-jitsu guy. Okay, yeah. you're going to get him down, and you're going to do the armbar. Right. Or you're probably go, going to go behind and give him a rear naked. Right. So. Right. Right. You can't get out of there. Right. Okay. Now, but that is how you train. Right. Right. For you have been trained for sport. Hmm. Now, when you take that to the street, it's a completely different body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely different body. Now, people are brutal, man. I've seen fights. Yeah. They, they go... They just do anything. Pick up anything. Yeah. They go crazy. Like bloody yeah. faces and all. Yeah, yeah. I've so, seen ugly bar fights. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so, the thing is that what Bruce said right. was to avoid going around the bush uh-huh. and go straight to the point. Okay. So, simple the principles are simple direct effective right. not traditional. you know that yeah yeah yeah, totally. yeah 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 the simplicity in your movement so when someone's coming to you rather than doing all that getting him on the ground and then going in for an armbar okay you hit him in the groin or hit him in the throat right so it has to be effective so neutralize basically exactly. decapacitate the person exactly. oh okay so your attack is your defense ah right right that's jeet kundo that's that's the whole concept behind it. okay attack first <laughs> yeah, see, now it depends. Yeah, 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 I'm getting into nuances. Right? Like just talking to you, don't go <laughs> <laughs> Right. I mean, you got to be ready for whatever may come, right? Right. Now, if he's going to throw a punch, or mm. it's the way of the intercept. The jikundo means the way of the intercepting fist. Right. Yeah. It doesn't mean, it's not like taekwondo huh. or karate or something like that. It doesn't, it doesn't mean any traditional thing. It right. means the way of the intercepting fist or foot. Okay. So basically, you're intercepting his movement. Before he hits you. Right, right. Uh-huh. So that's the whole concept. Yeah. And do you differentiate in your train? I know you said that girls hit guys, guys slap each other, they train. But is there any difference, for example, Karen and I are training under you. So will she learn different stuff or will I learn different stuff? And another thing, what do you really have to say to people 
for martial arts in general like i think everyone should learn it i think everyone should learn it it is very important very example. important very important because doesn't, it doesn't it's not just physical right there's a lot of mental things a lot of emotions that can be channelized into hmm. martial arts okay and like you said you know getting slapped your ego just goes for huh? the loss yeah and so now that's a i very can good thing now i can if someone says that okay we have slaps in the conditioning i'm like yeah bring it on yeah yeah let's slap the fuck out of each other yeah so i have a friend Yeah. His name is Rohil. I'm going to take his yeah, name. Yeah. <laughs> is he the same guy who always watched us slapping? Yeah, yeah that so guy. He's the guy who can never take a slap. Yeah. So he's from Lucknow. Okay. And he can never ever take a slap. Yeah. So he's, he's not joined my class mm. just because of the slap. He's like, please can you cut that out? <laughs> I'll join your class. Right. Okay. That's I, the condition. I'm sure <laughs> if I stayed there for a month or two longer. I, I think we would have slapped half of the city. Whoever was joining your yeah. class, we were like, "Yeah, yeah slap <laughs> buddy." There was this se- senior guy. Like he was at least ten yeah. years elder to me. I remember, very cool guy and very sweet guy. But we like, like fucking slapping. Up, yeah, we were like slapping each other. <laughs> and like, bahar milega like shit. I slapped him. <laughs> so yeah, and let's go to your. So yeah, like, do you differentiate between girls and guys when you're training? Uh, the situations vary. Right. Right. Because. Right. the way a person would hold a woman is not the same thing a guy would hold a guy okay yeah but uh, so there are two different scenarios most of the times where you know the aggressor wants to you know is uh, you know uh, is more like you know his approach is more uh, towards you know sexually harassing the girl mm-hmm. so he is trying to grab her rape her whatever yeah. he is she he is trying to pull her down that is different but sometimes guys or men or women whoever sometimes people just go hey why right? they just throw fists and or something yeah. so you train them accordingly or yeah. what what's it's, your it's it's accordingly yeah. right i mean women are, like you said people come on to them to either rape them or grope them or yeah whatever. right so Like a guy would not do that to a guy yeah. so that's not it oh it depends <laughs> it depends <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you never know yeah but most of the time yeah. it's not like that so There is a difference in the situation, hmm. but apart from that, the training is mostly uh, similar. Do you learn striking yeah. and defending yourself? Uh, yeah. So when did you get into this? Like, what was your, you know, martial arts? So Bruce Lee. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, Bruce inspired Lee. by Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Yeah. Oh, watching oh, what, Bruce what, Lee. What? 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 Fist of Fist of. No, no, no. I was watching the way of the dragon. The way of the you know, Chuck Norris. Yes, yes. The way, uh, the way they fight in the Colosseum. Yeah. In I, the you know, I went to the Colosseum. Oh uh, yeah, at least you were in Italy yeah, lately. I yeah, I took a picture, a kicking picture. Nice, nice. Like, so cool. Have you put it on your Insta? No, I'm not no. Up please yet. do, yeah. please do. We'll use that picture <laughs> and check. We'll mark it. We'll we'll make an at least Chuck Norris and leave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> nice. Oh, you've been there. That's what. Yeah. That was a good movie. Yes. That, yeah, it was very good. Like I love that movie the best. So watching that, that he really inspired me. Hmm. As a kid, you get inspired looking yeah, at. Yeah, 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 yeah. So slowly. And how old were you? I was young. School, school, okay, school. yeah, teenager. Yeah. But I started formal training in my eleven. Okay. उससे पहले you were just घर पे doing all the stuff. Okay. Yeah, that random. I've done a lot. Yeah, yeah, random, random. Imagining, okay, yeah. this imagining enemies and just shadow boxing. Yeah. So then you started formally. You started in eleven. Yeah. And that was what was your first I, martial arts? I actually I did a little bit of karate. Okay. And for a few days, and then it's not for me. Oh, you would. Yeah, I did. In, so, at what age did you decide that karate is not for you? Because mostly people are like, you know, yeah, ha, ye sahi hai, kick smart ne ko mil raha hai. I was what, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, so you understood that? Okay, yeah, this is like, like limits. There are limits or whatever. Very limited. Ha. Huh. Because you have to do those katas and right, that right, before right. you can actually progress. Yeah. <laughs> of course, they are beneficial in a way, but hmm. I mean, you go right to the point. You don't. Know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In today's day and age. Right. That's right. why MMA is really good. It is. It is. You follow it properly? Uh, one of I don't watch. Your movies. favorite fighter, if you have to choose one, UFC. No one. No one. No one. Not even one. Have you? See, it's fun to watch it. Yeah. But uh, like you know, if people have told me, why don't you get into MMA? That's you... my next question. Uh, why aren't why you, you fighting professionally? So, I see. Firstly, I don't. I don't believe in fighting without any purpose. Like oh, honestly, not even sport. No. no. I don't believe like beating someone is for no reason. <laughs> you know, like but that's what we've been doing since centuries. We've been doing this since yeah, centuries. Yeah, but we've progressed. You know. <laughs> yeah. right? We're not in the colosseum. We're not gladiators, right? Yeah, but entertainment. I don't is know. entertainment. Yeah. So we're fighting. I think the best things, form of entertainment. It is. It is fighting. Some genius, that motherfucker who thought that okay, two guys are fighting, I should make money out of it. You know, so, start selling tickets. <laughs> so <laughs> who arguably, started? arguably, like, like Bruce Lee is one of the father. 
of MMA. Yeah, yes, because yeah. he combined all the no, different no. martial arts. Yeah, yeah. Those days when right. everything was so traditional. Right, right. You know, someone just comes up and says, no, I don't want to do this. I want to add this. I want to add this. So, Earlier like, he didn't have a name, so you used to call it Chinese uh, boxing or something. He used to call it Chinese boxing before he came no, up with yeah. So the thing is, he didn't want to give it a name. Right. That's what he the concept want, is. Yeah, he didn't want schools at all. Right. So, because as soon as you give it a name, it becomes a style. Right, yeah. It like, has. I do Jeet Kune Do. No. No. Oh. <laughs> so, what do you say then, if you are... So, so that's why <laughs> I call it the art of fighting. Okay. You know, that's where the name mm. comes from. Mm. It's not, it's not a style per yeah. se. So, you were martial, you were a martial artist and you did hotel management. You were doing... How did fitness become your career option? Like, okay, bodybuilding. How did that happen? So, you know, you're young, you don't know what to do. Right. Young, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna yeah. Do that. And after I completed my hotel management, right. I was like, this is not what I really want to do. I'm not happy doing it. Right. And my parents were, uh, you know, they they were, they agreed on, they were nice enough, you know, open-minded so, yeah. to say, okay, you know, you try this out. Okay. And see how it goes. If it doesn't, if you can fall back on that one. Right, you uh, you uh, like uh, kept fitness as an option in front of them that I want to do this. Yeah, like how did that come because to your mind? As a, when I so my uncle really inspired me to get into calisthenics. Okay, he told me you can do pull ups. I should do pull ups, push ups every day. You started with calisthenics. I started with calisthenics. So calisthenics was not heard of. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, sure. I mean, I didn't know what calisthenics was. Like, yeah, okay, I'm doing body weight Yeah, yeah. You know, so and that time slowly slowly it progressed towards it I didn't watch any videos nothing so right. everything was just self exploration plus we we had dial up so we didn't have much speed it's time there yeah <laughs> no content video on that with this sound thing yeah. yeah but yeah so that that's what really got me interested in the fitness thing, like hmm. fitness side and then I studied I did a course a small course in Pune okay from one of the gyms right that you know, really opened speak my mind speak a little louder bro. you might you might miss something I, yeah. I don't want yeah. So that really opened my mind, the course really opened my mind and got me interested in the intricate details of the human body. Okay. Nice. So I was really interested in what the human body can actually do and perform. Okay. Which is amazing if you think about it. I'm sure. Yeah. I can't do a flag right now. I, I'm sure. But I've you can. It. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. I, I remember I was trying muscle up multiple yeah, gym yeah. and you were there. You were the only one there and I'd never tried it huh. before. You were the only one who came up to me and said Ki ho jayega, huh. it's all in your mind. Yeah. And bro, I did not leave that gym for one hour and I pulled one and then, <laughs> I, then I left. Yeah, then I left. So, yeah, we just leave things badi jaldi. Exactly. We just yeah. quit yeah. badi jaldi. Right? Quit yeah, yeah, exactly. Human exactly. Exactly. body is capable of so many things. Right. You just need to explore it and give it your time, 100%. Hmm. Yeah, true. So that really got me intrigued about fitness and everything. And then I just slowly started training people. And just started building. One thing led to the other. Okay. So when did you decide to become a vegan? That's one of the main things. So I don't have any, so mostly, you know, I, I think I'm like the, I'm Pune ka, <laughs> vegan, Pune ka jitne vegan se, unka mein friendliest enemy honga, ek tari ke se. <laughs> because, because I call them, I talk to them, but I'm not a vegan, so I have an argument with them. So my main, I never want to argue with vegans hmm. uh, uh, till the time, like, you know, why are you doing it? I don't do that. But when they start telling me that, okay, you should also do this, when they come like this, right? Exactly. It, exactly. So, Gobind, right? Mm-hmm. Gobind and I, whenever we meet, right, mm-hmm. off podcast, mm-hmm. we did that on podcast as well. But whenever Gobind and I meet, even he is a meat eater, ah. plus he is also against such ah. people and he has faced this. Exactly. So, have I. So, they come with the force that, okay, you should do this. Is, mm-hmm. oh, chill the fuck out, bro. Judge. Yeah. So, we, we. yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, it's a huge. I'm, I'm glad that you being a vegan know yeah. that this happens. Yeah. This yeah. Happens. Like, yeah. I, even I am against this right. because everyone has their own freedom to do whatever they want to do. You yeah. can't enforce anyone at any. Like that's the choice I took and that's the choice to, that I'm doing. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I don't need to force you to so never participate maybe make in... you aware right. of the things that are happening. Sure. Yeah. Then it's up to you. I mean, I'm not going to be like, okay, turn vegan. Or, yeah, you should be. And then my family should. members, no, you all should all turn vegan. Uh-huh. No, that's not how it works for me at least. Right. Because see, everyone has their own personal choice. Did you ever participate in an activism ever? Like, did you ever try no, to? I, I, I don't know. Hmm? Okay. But yeah, I, I mean, I support them yeah you should you are doing it yeah but uh, I don't physically go and do it okay so how old are you right now I'm 28 28 when when did you turn vegan I turned vegan about two years back two years oh so it's not that okay 
cool, cool. And since you are into this, so uh, since two years, no whey protein and stuff, obviously. See, now there are times when my protein is over, uh-huh. like my vegan protein is not available, right. then I will resort to it. Resort to it. Yeah. So you're not so that... I'm not that... Rigid. Ki yeah. Nahi. Because... Bro, <laughs> vegans are going to hate you. Yeah, <laughs> 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 He's a god. <laughs> 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 you don't go out and all and you have to eat like pizza and all. No. So, see, I'll keep like a day in the month. Uh-huh. Where if I want to really have something like a milkshake or something, you know, I will have it. And nice. But you will let nice. Like dairy, but you will not have like meat. No, meat I quit five years back. Oh. So oh. meat is, meat I is don't even miss it, so I, that I won't even touch. Okay. But dairy is some, I miss it. Like I miss certain ice creams. You do get a lot of vegan yeah. options, but it's not like. It's not that. Yeah, it's not the <laughs> no, same. Not. Like tofu and paneer is not the same. Cashew cheese is not the same. There are a lot of options coming out, but it's not even come to India. Yeah, yeah, it has yeah. it. I know. Like, you know, uh, impossible burgers. Yeah, the, the, the yeah. M- meatless meat. Yeah. So my I friend want... just tried it and he was like, it was like a beef burger. Really? Yeah. Oh, I want to try like that. Mock meat. It's, mock meat. It's, yeah, mock meat. Yeah, yeah, mock meat. Meat. yeah, I want to try that. Soya I don't know how they make it. It's yeah. juicy and it tastes like beef. Yeah. Dude, even I'm like, you have had fantastic mock, mock meat. Mock meat, where? In India? Imported. There was a wedding and the caterer had imported. Uh, the mock meat specially. Right. I'm just curious to know that they Because I'm sure they don't use soy. They use soy. It's soy. I heard that pulses are used. Oh, that's that's right. it's, it's, it's a mix. Yeah. It's a mix of... Yeah. But creating something that tastes like soy. Yeah. 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 If you give me that every day, I will eat it happily and I am not going to just the original. So, I'll tell you something, uh, ek, m- m- you know, flesh eater ke perspective se, nothing in this world, no matter <laughs> how much vegans try, right, so, a wild boar, right, wild, they usually hunt that, yeah. wild boar, game, yeah. game animal, uska fat ka layer itna bada hota. Yeah. And it's, when it's cooked, right, Jammu mein ek concept hai achar banana. I think I've spoken about yeah. this before. So they, you know, make a preserve out of it. Uh-huh. So usko pura achar ke spices mein karke, they hunt the boar. Uh-huh. Aur uska flesh or flesh ke upar fat ka layer itna mada layer hota. And it's hard, wild boar, man. Yeah. It's a, you know, wild boar. Yeah. When you, when you, exactly. So when you cook that and jo uska fat ka, na, usme thoda sa niche flesh hota hai. Uska jo tissue ya muscle hoga, upar itna bada fat ka layer hoga. There is nothing that can match the taste of that, no matter how hard vegan yeah. try. It the fat when it melts in your mouth, right? Yeah. You're like something. Else. Yeah. So bacon into ten. Yeah. Bacon. <laughs> there is also a thing that uh, they're making uh, lab-grown meat. Hmm. Yeah. That's you're not future. killing. Yeah, you're not killing animals. It's synthetic, stem, synthetic meat. Yeah, yeah. Stem 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 cells. So I'm just actually thinking hmm. people occasionally start. Like there are people who eat every day. Like you eat, how many eggs you eat every day? Why? Why? Because, why not? See, industry, and you get caught up, right? You need it protein. Because it's not that it's not health. It will give you those results because science says that you have to eat body weight. Ke sabse itna See, whatever hai. anyone says, right? Right. Meat is nutritious. Yeah. It is the most bioavailable. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of vegans will say that no, meat is not good for health. Right. Like this. Okay, yeah, it's grown. Badly in, in That's today's day and age. Antibiotics and I agree. Yeah. But apart from that, meat is very nutritious. Right. Yeah. I agree. I agree. You know, there are certain vitamins and that mean, we do not get in plants. Right. Yeah. So actually, if you think about it, we are not meant to just eat plants. Yeah. You have to take something. Because yeah. we know, need those vitamins. Yeah. yeah. Especially the kind of work we are doing. And I'm a vegan saying this. Huh? <laughs> Bro, I'm glad. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, not even, very open-minded. I don't, I'm yeah, not I'm glad and I'm not, I'm not so super happy because I'm like, oh yeah, I got a vegan to say this. No, no. you're making sense exactly. right. You're making sense right. Right, I mean, right. if there's a vitamin that the body needs right. and it's not available in plants, right. I mean, what does that mean? Bro, oh, vegans are going to hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, what does that It's logical. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Sometimes I couldn't agree more. Vegan bodies cannot... Uh, absorb like it's easier to absorb iron and stuff from meat than to absorb it from plants, right? So there's this guy, very famous guy, who speaks a lot. He's a psychologist, Jordan Peterson, very famous on YouTube. Has a very uske stand jo wo leta hai, wo he offends like out of thousand people, he offends nine hundred people when he talks. Mm-hmm. So, but a guy, what a guy! So he had a lot of autoimmune diseases, a lot, like a lot of autoimmune issues. So this guy has shifted to meat diet, like a carnivore diet. All he eats is a steak, 
सॉल्ट के साथ हल्का सा पानी कुक्स इट एंड ईट्स इट दैट्स ऑल दैट्स नॉट दैट्स एन अदर एक्सट्रीम विच आई वुड नॉट एवर वट सी ही सेड दैट यू नो हिज बॉडी हैज चेंज नॉमिनली ही हैज लॉस्ट वेट एंड हिज सिम्टम्स हैव गॉन डाउन माई थिंकिंग इज दैट ही has reduced calories and when you are more into a fasting state yeah and plus the nutrients he was getting he probably was not getting it before yeah he is getting so his uh, body is just responding yeah, exactly but the same thing if you do it with supplements is the same thing okay I'll elaborate like what i said so say. like suppose that i said that you don't get certain things yeah. from meat right like you don't get meat well mm. iron is low okay so if you take supplements to supplement that Right. You are taking B12, you are taking right. vitamin B, right, right, right. you are taking iodine, iron, huh. whatever. If I am taking those supplements, right. there is no problem. Right. So in today's day and age, it is possible hmm. to stay vegan. Right. But uh, yeah, gets a bit expensive, I am sure. Uh, yeah, a little bit because, because you are spending on those right, extra right, 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 right. But uh, I, all I am trying to say is, you can get those vitamins in. Right. Regardless. And the body honestly does not differentiate between a supplement and. Yeah. So the body is not thinking. Oh, there's a supplement coming in. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. synthetic. It's not natural. natural. <laughs> <laughs> it's, natural. <laughs> it's very funny. Like people tell me, I don't want to take supplements. I'm like, it's not natural. Yeah. I'm like your body does not know. It's the ingredient that's coming. This right. iron. Right. Right. There's vitamin D. Provided you use it as a strong. supplement, right? Provided you use it as a supplement. Because why do you use it? Use it as a supplement, yeah. like you eat nutritious food. Right. Because you need fiber and stuff, right? You need solid stuff to go inside. I, I believe. I was saying that you people survive on like supplements. Like more, they like three scoops, four scoops to um, fulfill their protein needs. Yeah, you will have to compensate, right? If you're not getting it from something, you get it from somewhere else. Yeah. So I'm saying that people because so there's this mindset that they want to have more muscle, less fat, right? So someone who's working out and a vegan, right? You have to take the supplements. Right. Agreed. Yes. But then uh, my point is that if you are uh, like fulfilling your body's protein need, like majority of it through supplements, I think that can be a little more harmful rather than having meat and oats or all those things that have protein. Like have proper whole food, the way whole foods are, right? So if you're just having a watery shake, I think that's harmful rather than having. It's not harmful, but see, it is synthetic, right? There's not too much research done over the ages. I I'm sure it's yeah. very new yeah very new, very, is very, very new so no one's done a proper research on someone who's been taking it all their life hmm. right but till now no one's had a problem as such right see i think it also depends on a lot of other factors like if you're drinking protein but you're not having enough water to flush it out the excess from yeah so it does put like a toll on your kidney yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's it's pre digested yeah so it just mm. goes in quickly right right and now the fitness industry is like oh you need to have these Isolate proteins because it just go in your yeah. body so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both were, but that's how industries work, right? That's how they do it's, it, man. And they put it in everyone's. Both pressure, hai, yar. Dinta me, both pressure. Like hai. You tell me, back in the day, in the nineteen right. twenties, uh, they were bodybuilders, right? Right. They, did they have those after workout? You need to have a. It no, doesn't man. make sense. Right? They look good. Yeah. It's not that they didn't pack on muscle. But they had like yeah. phenomenal bodies, man. Because they yeah. got protein over. The, Over the day, twenty-four yeah, hours. 24 hours yeah, twenty-four hours. Yeah. So that research, this is funny. Like there's one small research that comes up. Mm. Oh, they have an open window right. of forty-five minutes to one. I need to have a protein. Others you're done. Like yeah. you're like going to <laughs> home. I need to go home. I need to have my protein. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, you're like, I know, man. It gets to your head. Yeah, I mean, this, this is that that's what marketing does. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Yes. I think everybody wants like the best result and the quickest. I think even if you, you take any brand, for example. Right. Like a certain brand will create something, and maybe another brand will create the same thing. Right. But the way this brand put markets it, itself, places yeah, itself yeah. in the market. Right. You be like Porsche. Yeah, he let me. Same, twenty-four grams, same. But yeah, you want yeah. that. <laughs> I need uh, you, this you, brand you, you, of protein. You, you, you did a commercial for oh, Muscle Place. I did. Yeah. Muscle Place. Yeah. 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 That's when I first got to know about you. Yeah, that, I saw that on YouTube. Yeah. And then I saw you were doing your uh, yeah, do two finger push up. Do that. He can do push ups on his like. I just... can't even do a block push up. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, let's not compete with him. But yeah, that's. Uh, tell me about it. How does it work? Like, did you like start with your finger strength? Yeah, finger strength. yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he makes you do that. He makes so you do that. Is, like even you, if you're a martial artist, right. you need to train every single part of your body. Okay. Wow. You know, so even the fingers need to be hard. If you're eye jabbing someone, <laughs> I mean your fingers should not bend. You can't be like butter fingers or something. Yeah. 
So yeah. that's the reason behind it. So right. you know, you train your fingers, you hit it. When there yeah. are micro fractures, it grows and becomes strong. Right, right, right. right. Or you do push-ups on your mm. fingertips. Yeah, I remember that's you made us strength. do knuckles pay and you made yeah. us do fingers yeah. pay. So your whole finger is ten. Right. So slowly you just reduce the number of fingers. Oh. <laughs> so there was a point. This was when I was working to work out in Bangalore. I did. I was doing a push up on my thumbs. Okay. <laughs> so I went down and I'm like, Did you? Oh shit! 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 Did this you? Did, did, did you snap? Did you snap? The thumb just went back. Like fracture? Broken? What? I have no idea because oh. what I did was I quickly put it back. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first instinct to put it back. Ow! And oh. luckily there was ice in the gym. Did you so, scream like when you? No, I was just like normal, like. At that time, I mean, maybe the body. <laughs> that time, maybe the body is so warmed up or something. Yeah. Maybe you. No, I, I was a little shocked at first. I was like, I, shit. Who wouldn't know? No, but a pain is actually a mental thing. It is. Like it's not. Not completely, but not completely. Really, no, but so apparently, one of my friends, her, she has her brother who is, um, like, he has a disability, and he has like a disability. Okay. And he got stitches. He got like twelve stitches or something. He didn't realize pain. So maybe because he, he didn't understand the concept. Of no, no, not understand. So there's a part of the brain. If that gets hit, right, or something happens to that specific part, uh, how can I say that? Because I've seen the, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, when Joker tells Batman, when he comes back, he tells him never start with the head because the person will not feel the pain. So then he hits him on his hand and he said nothing. So maybe you know the receptors. I mean, so there are, there are, I think there are two things to this. Okay. Either you have a genetic thing, which is like if you have a genetic thing, you're naturally born with it. Okay. Right. And you get hurt. Yeah. Right. right. There are nerves which are sending signals to your brain. Yeah. And that's how you will feel pain. Pain is yeah. necessary. You should not cut it out. Yeah. Pain it is, is very necessary. Very necessary. Yeah, yeah. It's survival is one thing. You need pain. Right, right, like, right. Like there are people who are born with a defect where they can't feel pain. You know there was that movie? It was based, he was like, there was Bruce Lee in it and he was, this is a recent Hindi movie. H- Hindi movie? Yeah. It was a good movie. The guy with the backpack on, always ah, fighting with his girlfriend. Ah, with his I haven't seen the movie, ah, but yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a damn cool movie. Really? His <laughs> basic thing was he had a disorder. He couldn't feel any pain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah he's trying to fight something is broken. He doesn't even know. Ah. You know, and he wanted to be like Bruce. Lee. Right. So, but pain is necessary. So these type of people, it actually exists. Right. This disorder. They go for a checkup every fifteen days to a month. They have to do a blood test. They have to do everything. Just because you don't know what is happening inside your body. Okay. Right? If you have a cancer growing, whatever, how will you know there's no pain? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So internal pain, no external, no pain. If you have a heart attack, you will not know. Because there's no pain. Damn. If you have a habit, you so, will not know. You so, will not so, know. So, so, so anyway, if you have a heart attack, you will just know. <laughs> 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 but you just feel it first. Like yeah, you will have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah. So oh, there are some a... cool things to it. But yeah. <laughs> you need pain. I mean, but pain is very necessary. So this guy can. Oh, so they have to keep checking. So this guy can actually, you know, put a hand on uh, yeah, burner and the torch and all. Yeah, nira yaar, to aise karke. Just saying, just so he can. He is. So that's the first thing to it. Like a. The nerves send a signal to the brain. Right. But then there's another part to it. Now, if your hand gets cut off or something, okay, the nerves also are damaged. Oh, right. Yeah. So unless you look at it, you will not feel the pain. Once mm-hmm. you look at it, you'll be like, oh shit. Like so that, that's what happened to your thumb. So you were like, what happened while you were doing no, your push-up? It did work. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Mine right. did work. But if your thumb is off, I'm saying. Okay. Like, so maybe you got loose from the socket, the joint, or maybe yeah, something like that. Just dislocated. 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 I put it back. And okay. Very nice. So then so you didn't. I didn't go to the doctor. And can you do the push-up? Yeah. Now? No, it's all good. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's but I mean, when you're younger, also it heals faster, right? Yeah. It does, it does. Yeah, yeah. Faster. Faster. Yeah, yeah I remember there was, I, I was hanging on some monkey bar when I was small. There was a breakdown and I fell. And I got a massive cut here. Okay. And I, my finger used to get locked in a position. Okay. When I was small, but I can't do that anymore. It was so cool though. And I <laughs> Yeah, what you do? it fixed itself. So yeah, body heals. Right? Body heals. Body heals. But yeah, another thing, yo, that still reminds me. A question that I wanted to ask, shuru me, and I think a lot of your followers should know this about you. A lot of your stalkers should know this about you. I want to ask this question: Why in the hell do you still use Hotmail, bro? Hot Hotmail. Your email address. Hotmail. Uh, yeah, why the hell? Who? You know, I, I got this question like so many I, times. If I sit with dedication, puri raat, I can create a thousand Hotmail memes. <laughs> so I want to know, ki, kyun? And you know, do you know there's a bloody barrier in your email that if I send you Other an email. Be there, yes. 
Yeah, so I can't get to you directly. You have to go to the next question. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a why. It's damn annoying. Like, I've got this question so many times. I want to know. No, this is a serious question now. Earlier, I was like, okay, funny. See, one of the main reasons is because I didn't get a proper email ID. Like, my email ID is very simple. It's Dhruv underscore Chaudhary. Dhruv underscore Chaudhary? Yeah. At the rate, hotmail.com. Yeah. So, but because you did not get that I didn't get that in any of the things. Okay. Okay. So, I'm like, just leave it in my own business. I was like, when he told me, Jim, I hot meal. I was like, judge, why judge? I, I judged him. I, not even judge. If he, if, he would have, if he would have said Yahoo, I would have judged him. Yeah, I mean, Yahoo, you've got to judge him. I still use Yahoo, but it's too late to change. Exactly. But hot meal. No, but that's like, the thing. This is actually a thing. Like, I felt like someone comes up and tells me his email ID and he says hot meal. I'm like, bro, what are you Oh, so there are more people. Nice. So, yeah. yeah like, I see. Everyone today has Gmail accounts. Yeah, yeah. Gmail is like the thing. But again, see, it's been put in your head that Gmail is better. It does the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, see, Joe, yeah. Now I think, they're like, uh, yeah, more space. It's yeah, not, more space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, depends. If you are a designer or something, uh-huh. they have a lot of files. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Hotmail will give you another space. I think they cloud. do. Maybe they have. Obviously, they must have come up with something. From the beginning of my Good. life, I, was, I always had a junior. I don't know anything. That's because you are like very recent, <laughs> right? You are, you are very recent. I've been through Yahoo and then Gmail. But, but I do have a Gmail <laughs> Why don't you choose? Why do you tell It's not a, the name it's is not, not professional. Hmm. So I can't use it professionally. I, I want to know what the name no, is. No, 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 no. It's it's because not. I'll share mine. I'll, I'll share an incident what happened to I me in the law firm. Bro, you have no idea. I'll tell you what happened in front of big lawyers of the country. But I'll, I, I want you. It's okay. Just get out with it, bro. You know when we have things like cool through. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, but, but it wasn't cool through. So it was back in the day when you were like young and you were just yeah. creating something. Yeah, like, what yeah cool yeah. underscore yeah. through. <laughs> that, that was it. That was it. Cool underscore through. Yeah, but it's stupid. I mean, I can't use that and... <laughs> Tell my client like this is my email ID. <laughs> so so <laughs> my my email address is ajamwal13 at yeah. gmail.com. Right? That's my email address. This was created because I had another email ID and I was working in a law firm in New Delhi, Sibyl and Company. I was working there and uh, so the husband uh, and wife, like the main guy and his wife, they both run the firm. Earlier they used to, now I think the, uh, only the guy does. So I was working with the lady like uh-huh. she was my senior I wasn't working with the guy guy I was working with the lady so I was new I was interning I had just started interning and she called me and she wanted to forward a brief like because I was I had just started so she said open your email address and I was so fucking confident because I had an email I was like so cool I didn't know that I was sitting among like fucking professionals right I was like chill underscore with underscore ABS that was, <laughs> that was my email address my email address was chill underscore with underscore abs <laughs> <laughs> at Yahoo. The moment I said chill underscore with underscore, I saw that grin on her face. She didn't yell or she didn't snap, but she started smiling. No, she started smiling. That <laughs> what a kid, man. <laughs> like lawyer, when they come here, I was what 22, I guess 21, 22. You were older than me. How I am right now? But at that time, that was my thing, right? Chill underscore with underscore. Oh, yeah, it's awkward. What was your awkward profile? Later, profiles? later, some other day. So. <laughs> So I said this and then I saw the grin and before I could complete, I understood that this professional place. Then I was like, you can't, you can't use it. Yeah, I was like, give me a moment. So I went there and I created a Jambal 13 and then came back. So yeah, cool underscore Dhruv is... Yeah, but I say you can't use it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, but I think now you should just use this it. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Now everyone knows, right? If people are going to know. <laughs> how this is. You smite it. I think you're passing judgment. Yeah. But yeah, bro. <laughs> Sports bikes, bro. Oh. That's what, like, that's your hobby, like, what, like, oh. because, sports bikes, like, you're biking, oh. biking, yeah, biking. tell me about it, what, what? So, yeah, again, passion. Yeah. Like, uh, very passionate about bikes. Hmm. Like, as a kid, I've always been, I actually learned how to drive first before I learned how to ride. Okay. I didn't know how to ride until my 12th channel. Oh, it was the yeah. Ulta with so, me. Yeah. Like, you know, but then once I got on a bike, yeah. it was like first life. Right? Yeah, I know. I know the that feeling. feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I never expected that to happen. What was your first? Like your first bike? I had a, a Dio. You know, a Honda Dio? Dio? Yeah, yeah, I had a Honda Dio. That day it was cool. You put in those K and filter. Exactly. It sounds very nice. <laughs> My sister had a Dio. So I just used to steal it for a day or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, but yeah, that was a nice. Because yeah. it, I preferred Dio because it was cooler than the rest. Yeah, it had that radical shape, right? Exactly. Like the actor was very yeah, yeah. straight. You go and get groceries. But this was really cool. You, know? you can go to college with this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah, yeah, that was the first. That, so two wheeler, yeah. yeah. Nice. So it was fun. I mean, that's what got me in the right, right. And as I always wanted to own uh, a higher CC bike, right, right. That was my goal, right. So and now you ride a Ducati. Yeah, work wow. towards it. Okay, so you did not like. What was your first motorcycle? Motorcycle, not Dio, like automatic stuff, but motorcycle. Oh, uh, this is the the Yamaha Phaser. I still oh, have it. Right? Phaser, Phaser, yeah. Phaser. Yeah, it's a good bike. Yeah, it's a good bike. Yeah, I mean it does the job. Yeah, nice. but when Phaser came, it was a good looking bike. It was bike. a good bike. Good look. I know we compare it with you know bahar ka sports bikes and yeah. all the naked yeah. bikes but no but phaser was a good looking yeah. indian bike good, good looking indian bike yeah yeah so then you just moved to like a fucking 1000cc yeah <laughs> that was a big oh, okay. I, have, I have always wanted to ask the owner of the 1000cc bike this question so one of my brothers friends brother was like you know this bike is like yamaha f1 r1 r1 yeah that bike and my brother just got it. He took me for a ride and shit. But in the city, you cannot go you can't, about. You can't. Just you can't. That's so that's hundred and three. I think there's a difference also in why you buy a super bike. I mean, mostly people nowadays they just buy it because of a certain status that. Like, yeah. Or they want to do woo woo in that's the middle right. of the street. They just want to show off. <laughs> yeah. And say okay, like, look at me. Yeah. yeah. I'm so cool. Yeah. Like, Actually, they don't get it. <laughs> no, I'm I mean, sure. I'm sure. I'm, I'm honest. Like muscles and bikes do not get good. <laughs> This is a very honest thing. I'm going to tell everyone out there. This is what we think. We okay, think I, I will disagree on the muscle no, part. Wait, wait. I will disagree on the muscle think, part. <laughs> muscle, I mean, muscle doesn't get in cut and you know, getting that thing. What we guys Extra like. Extra shredded. Yeah. No, we no, guys no. like that. No, no. I, so think those, those, yeah. I think those guys don't even get a boner or hard on. No, no, no. The guys on steroids. <laughs> but like extremely shredded, no, low extremely fat. Extremely shredded and you know, abs I, popping yeah. out and your muscles is popping out. Like, um, girls do not like that. I mean, yeah, no, no. Right? Okay, I've never and been sure. We think that girls like we love it. Yeah, we because we love, we love the idea. It's so cool. It. So I ne- have never been in that shape ever, like uh, completely. But you have. I've seen yeah, your pictures. Yeah. So you tell me what's the. So that's what I'm wondering. Like, what's when you went topless. <laughs> when, when you went topless in front of your man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Like that's when oh. I realized. Oh shit! It's not the muscle. No. So you know what I think? Girls like it. But it's more of like a fantasy thing. It's not something you would want every day. Like okay. it's something you just be like. Oh, it's nice to look at. Like yeah, so, so cool. cool. Yeah. Like pictures are taken. Yeah, after the party, oh my god, wow, he's so hot. Hmm. But in reality, you don't. Good it feels. I think Imagine good shape, good, feels, good like, body. Yeah, matters yeah. more yeah, than like, like you. Like you're very beach body. Can yeah. you like your clothes? Fitted good. clothes, like smart clothes. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't have a. Ponch. Ponch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, that no, does the job. <laughs> right, right. How do you get your apps from bikes? Oh, yeah, so bikes and super yeah, apps. So yeah. yeah, we just went. <laughs> yeah. So from bikes. So, yeah, so bikes, I mean, people have, they mostly people buy it just to show off. Right. Right, I mean, they buy a bike, okay. Uh-huh, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then they sell it off. 100 meter stretch. 100 meter stretch, it's going to be a traffic. Good, good, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, that's not the case. I mean, that's not the reason why you should buy a super bike. Yeah. You, know, you need to buy it because you're passionate about it. You want to, when you, when you ride, you just, you feel so free and you feel I so know, nice. I mean, yeah, you have that yeah, feeling. Yeah. You go on a long ride. It's amazing, man. It's I don't like care. De stress I don't care if someone just bullets pass through me with a 1000cc right. bike because I ride right. 500, right? So exactly. I, I'm like, duk duk 80 speed, exactly. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. feeling all that open road. Yes, and yes. You and your bike, the, the freedom. You're talking to yourself at that time. Listening to yeah. music. Oh, oh, you do? You do listen to music while riding? Oh, that's not very safe. It's, I, not, I, it's not. But but you do. Yeah, I do. So you have that thing in your head. I like, music. <laughs> oh, okay. But I'm very aware. Like, yeah. so maybe because of martial arts, I'm very aware of my surroundings. So okay. if I'm listening to music, I'm always looking in the mirror. Right. So how loud is your music while riding? Like, can you hear no, honks and all? Really you can hear honks and all. Yeah, obviously. because your bike is very loud. Right? It is loud. Yeah. So I, I, my only, I was talking to someone two days ago. My only superbike experience is on a Fireblade, huh. and uh, that was the only. And even the rider, I was sitting piche. Mm-hmm. I have never, you know, ever. I have never driven. But I was piche, sitting piche, and dude, that tunnel vision actually happens. Sides get blurred. Yeah. In three seconds, yes. that's scary and that's scary. very Especially exhilarating. You're sitting, you're sitting at the back. Yeah, yeah, back. So I, I, I had proper instruction that no. this is how you lock your fingers. So you're sitting at the back is a different feeling. You get scared. Scarier. You have no control over. Yeah. Exactly. So you're you're like your life depends on small. that so guy. Get, your life depends on that yeah. guy. And that guy was, that guy wasn't wearing a gear. Mm-hmm. Nothing. No helmet. I wasn't wearing anything. Just shades because cool. Like college yeah. with him. Dude, that is. It's it is scary. I sat behind someone. Yeah. 
on the bike yeah. and this guy was doing uh, it was a day tour okay and this is the time when i really loved the day tour i didn't have a bike right right i didn't love it and like take me for a ride and yeah. and that so he took me it was raining right it's a new bike oh and he's popping wheelies okay. he's sitting behind ah uh-huh. and he just and but he didn't tell you that you can't leave your hands nothing like that that i obviously the next <laughs> was more than just like do that yeah but that feeling was i thought i'm going to die That um, is very scary. Very scary. Like I mean, roller coasters, not sat behind anyone on a super bike. Roller coasters and all, they are nothing when it comes to super bike. The way because you think he's going to die with and to Indian roads, anything comes in between. Yeah, so anywhere safe. I've seen videos. Bahar ki khuli road pe. Yeah, and you need to respect it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the good way to. Yeah, yeah, you do. Monsoon of so billy and everything with somebody sitting at the back. Exactly. It's okay. And I think even if you just you just let go of the throttle. In a thousand cc, for a jaldi on first gear or two, it will automatically pop into a wheelie, yeah, right? It does, right? It's hard to control it. it. it I haven't ridden it ever, but yeah. I think it, it is. You need to. And you've done tracks. I've seen yeah. pictures. You've done tracks. How is that? I want to do some more. I want to go to Bud. Bud, yeah. Because that's the whole feeling. You know? Right. When you right. get on the track, you don't feel like riding back on the road. Like after I did the track day. Yeah. Before the track day, I was like, okay, Sunday, let's go for a ride. Long ride, yeah. yeah. But after the track day, I'm like, shit. Yeah. And now, yeah, yeah. This was in Chennai, so I did this course. It's called uh, California School Bike School. Right. CSS. Did you, you ride your your yeah, bike? Yeah, I took my bike. Okay. So they teach you how to you know take the corner. So how do you ride oh, the like bike? Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I was not down there. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. But how you do you shift your butt on the bike like that? How about your body position? Oh, right. Yeah. How do you do that? Would you do that in the gaming area? Where you have ah, those with bikes, those bike shifts. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the feeling is something else on a track. I'm sure. And you can't explain. I'm sure. Because when you get in that corner and you're that you're in that corner and you exit it with the full throttle and your bike is just like coming up a little bit and like oh I, I, Ladakh Khardungla Pass when you go to Khardungla Pass right so I I my friend and I we hired a 500 cc uh, Royal Enfield uh, right and the roads were empty yeah. this time like Khali Khan even on those scary roads I was doing 60 on the bends right 60 80 on the bends it was a long road but 60. they're nice the roads are nice. Oh, the feeling, the feeling. Yeah. I was, I was, I, I wasn't riding dangerously, yeah. but I was riding for a yeah. fast, and I could control the bike with the guy sitting yeah. behind and the bends. And I'm sure he must have had his yeah. balls in his throat, yeah. right? He was scared. I'm sure, but we were enjoying the bends and the curves, exactly. and that feeling is that feeling is something else. unexplicable. That feeling is amazing, yeah, it's amazing. And I would always suggest anyone like young, you're young, you're eighteen, nineteen, twenty, till twenty five, do not get a bike. Not get like any a, bike. A, a, a super bike, a super bike. bike. Because at that time, you you're not in the right frame of mind to. You're reckless. You're. Yeah. But most of the riders are. Yeah. Like, yeah. Unless you want to get on the track, that's the best time to do it. Oh yeah. Because yeah. at that time you can push. Right, right, right. And after a certain age, you can't push because, of course, you're. Your career, life, everything. Yeah, you think <laughs> about. Baby, bache. Why? Why? Yeah. You know, that's why most super bike, the MotoGP riders. They are young. They're very young. Yeah. They're winning. Yeah, sixteen, seventeen year old, and they're like oh, can't kids. Yeah. Naturally, 16. also your testosterone drops right after. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that also plays a lot of a big role. It does. It big does. role. You're not gutsy anymore. You can't push. Yeah. You're like okay, Just take it a little easy. Cool man. Oh, I think we covered a lot, bro. <laughs> Anything you want to talk about? Your any program that you have started, or you know, tell us about it. Like whatever, like your classes, so the classes. or a message. To people for martial arts or whatever. Just, just yeah, so you know, I, I would encourage, like especially in India, I mean, you need to learn a certain martial art. Any? Mostly people just do it for fitness hmm. or uh, you know, I just want to get fit. I get a lot of people who come in say, "Okay, I want, I want to learn some kickboxing." So I can learn some fat. More, yeah, calories. Hmm. So I do not teach those kind of. Things. I know. I'm not I know. India. I know. Yeah. So I mean, there's a difference. You should learn some form of. Fighting, right? It's not to fight, right? That's the point. People think, oh, who are we going to fight with? Mm. No, but there's if if time comes and you need it mm. at a certain time, then you can use it. Right. But it teaches you more things emotionally. So, like I said, your ego. Mm. Like let you let go of all the demons, most of the demons inside. You become calm in general. Yeah. yeah. I, and that is helpful in your day to day life. Yeah. Your stress level. So I was listening to this guy. So uh, he was talking about uh, habits that most successful, you know, people have, and uh, one of uh, those was uh, like background, not habits, habits, but what did they have in common? Two things 
that were common in most of the successful guys was uh, military, military background and martial arts. Like they practice or perform some kind of martial arts. So I'm sure it plays. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like the discipline. You get. Yeah, it's about discipline and focus, right? Very, very focused. Right, right. And it's not it's any martial. You just pick up something and learn. Right. And fitness industry. I just want to get one last catch. Ek uh, uspe that. It's very weird. The question is twisted. Don't you think both are about it? Depends on instant. Like some people, fitness expert. Isn't it? <laughs> when did this guy become a fitness expert? And Nutritionist and fitness expert. Yeah. But just for the sake of putting it up uh-huh. to get attract people to oh wow this person. No, they have one stuff. blah 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 course as well to back it up. They do no, a. I don't know what courses <laughs> people are doing. What courses <laughs> people are inventing? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is happening? And the fitness, especially in India, is just going going crazy. Every second person is coming on Instagram mm. and saying, "Yeah, I'm a fitness expert. I'm just putting up content up." What are you doing? Scary, scary. So, how, scary, how, scary. how should people actually, you know, it's judge? It's very difficult for people to even understand who to listen to. Yeah, that, that, that's person. my concern. Like, what? I'm just saying, it's like, it, it won't show its effects immediately. You know, like, it takes some time. It's, it's incorrect nutrition advice. Yeah. It takes time to show its true color. Yeah, yeah. and then there are suddenly these fat diets that have come up. Oh, I'm on a keto diet. I'm on a low carb diet. Hmm. And I'm on intermittent fasting and this and that. I mean, these are all names that have been given. At the end of the day, if you want to lose weight, yeah. it's a calorie deficit. Hmm. Even if you're on a ketosis, you eat can't be in a surplus. More. Yeah. Right? It's a deficit. Yeah, eat less and burn more. That oh, yeah, there's this guy who used to eat like this massive pizza. That because it depends on your goal. Right, yeah. You but I'm just saying, so a lot of fat diets that have come out on the nutritionists who only give that type of a diet. Yeah. And they're not open minded and they don't see the person. It's yeah. different for... Like if your goal is to put on muscle, mm-hmm. why will I give you something that is to lose weight or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Yeah, lose weight. And that's so... It's just this. Yeah, you know. Blinds, like yeah. a horse, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's where, like, the martial artist taught me a lot. Bruce Lee's martial artist. Right. You know, be open-minded to us. Yeah. If you like something, Learn you stuff. pick it up. Pick it up, yeah. Like the slapping thing, yeah. I picked it up. Right. It's not necessary that I have to do it. Right. Right? So, if it's useful for you, pick it up and then you do it. Right. But at the same time in the fitness industry, you can't just pick up anything online. I can just go online and write an article. Hmm. Right? I mean, I'll just put a few references huh. and I'll write an article. Right. But, I mean, two, two, three references are not enough. They're not scientifically bad. Yeah. Now, so how do you identify a person, I mean, who's good, who's who just... Like, yeah, exactly. Okay. How? How? Well, that's the question. First thing is open-minded. How open-minded the person is. Right. Secondly, you see his certifications, what he's done. Right. Are they renowned? Okay. You know, are they worldwide recognized? Okay, yeah, yeah. And then after that, now that person shouldn't just depend on that. He needs to keep progressing. Evolving keep, himself. Yeah. Because the fitness industry is new, like I said. Right. You know, you need, it's it's continuously evolving. Mm. There are a lot of researches mm. that are coming up. Yes. Now, a person who can go online, read researches, study them, study proper studies. Now, right. everything is available online. You mm. don't need to go to a library and uh, yeah, read, read study. Yeah, everything happens on this. Exactly. Yeah, PubMed and so many other right. things. Google Scholar gives you like tons of articles. Hmm. So then a person researching a certain supplement, right. you know, before giving it, gives reasons for it. I mean, that's a person that I think people, normal people, these are things that people should see hmm. in a person who's giving advice in fitness. And right. Like not just blindly, oh, when you do this exercise because it's cool and looks hmm. cool. No. Half of the things that people put up is crap. Yeah, because they want to yeah. it, it gives more likes. For oh, one, we're doing functional training, <laughs> calisthenics. <laughs> All the bullshit, man. Nice. This is crazy. Crazy. It was awesome, bro. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you so much. Cheers.